What's up YouTube? Swex here and I am continuing a series of videos giving you tours of all the individual structures within my creative world. Again, this is the first world I've ever built in creative mode, so this has been this is a while back, this is pretty old. But today I'm going to give you a tour of my courthouse. Specifically, this is called the Stone City Courthouse, go figure. So you see a lot of nether brick here. Uh, there's a skylight there. I put some trap doors in to kind of make this cool little design around the building just to give it character. I call this the purple building because of how much nether brick I put on it, but you know, it's got just a basic look again. Same stone material used, and of course, you got this little dome like on top just for looks. Uh, other than that, there's not too much to it, so let's get inside and I will show you what it's all about. So this would be the main courthouse for the kingdom, obviously. And here you come in and you've got this nice high lobby area here with staircases. So let's start with the first floor, because the first floor kind of has your more basic offices in it. Each floor has a security office on both sides. So you got a security office here with a desk. And then you've got another one over here, and each floor is the same with that. There's a security office, two on each floor in the same corners. Whoops, don't want to do that. Um, nothing big there. And then here you've got the marriage licenses, so if you want to get married, this is where you would come to apply. Just a very basic office. A lot of the governmental aspects of things are located in here. You've got the property registration, so when you do buy a house or property, you'd come here to get your title done. Uh, another basic office there. Here you got the women's restroom, just the toilet and a sink. Men's restroom, toilet and a sink. I'll get to that steel door in a minute here. Here you've got the clerk's office, just another basic lo uh, little office here for the clerk to work in. District attorney's office is in here. Nothing fancy about it. Uh, and then over here we've got public records. So this is the public records office where you could, I don't know, request a record and where everything that's been noted is stored. All the different titles that have been done are probably be stored here. If you need a birth certificate, you could come here and, you know, get that as well. Then you've got another women's restroom. Those are the public stairs and a men's restroom. So the public stairs just go up all the way and down to the basement. This is the public access to the basement, basically. I didn't put elevators in here because this was still when it was a bit more medieval, so there were no elevators. Um, now knowing what I know, if this was more modern, there would definitely be elevators. So the main public is going to use these staircases to get up and down. And you've got the restricted stairs here. The idea behind this is the basement is divided into two areas, the public area and the restricted area. Let's go check out the public area first. So the public area looks like this. You got Social Security office down here. And that door connects over to the restricted zone. Which I will show you in a little bit here. Uh, another restroom down here. There's restrooms on both sides of the building. This is just a basic storage room. Because uh, it's too small for any kind of office. And then the last part of the public side of the basement is the archives. So you could come in here. If there's something that's too old to be in the public records office, then they could come down here and get it for you or escort you down here to get it, whatever. This would be the archives where all the older stuff is stored, but it's still stuff that needs to be kept, so it'll be kept down here. And that is basically the public half of the basement. It's not very big, but it does what it needs to do. Now we'll head over to the restricted stairs. And this is obviously, why do I keep doing that? This is obviously pressure plated door down to the basement. This is really just the guards basically use the staircase or maybe the judges too. So coming here, there's restrooms again uh, and then a storage room here, just like the other one basically. And then over here, this is, that goes to the prison. That's a long stairway into the prison. That gives you a nice little preview of the prison there. 
And then down here, we've got a couple holding cells. Three of them. Where you just sit and you wait. And the idea behind this is if you're waiting on trial, if you're brought over from the dungeons in the palace, you would wait here until it was your time to go to trial. And then you could probably wait down here in these cells until it's your time to be transferred to the prison. And over here is, I don't know why I didn't put a sign there, but this is just the social security counter. And then this is the winding ass hallway that leads us all the way to the palace dungeons. See, there's the palace dungeons in there, which I've shown in another video. And so you just come all the way through here and you'd be brought in. And the idea is you could be brought right over to the holding cells in here to be kept until it's time to go to trial and whatnot. So that's the basement level of the courthouse. Let's go upstairs and we will start on the second floor because we've already done the first floor. <laughs> and again, you can see my stairways do not have any kind of railings. Stupid on my part. I will correct that one of these days. So the first floor, very basic floor here. There's not much to it. And actually there is no security offices up here now that I mention, now that I mention it. Maybe there aren't any on each floor. We'll have to see. But this is where the municipal court is. Oh, yeah, there is a security office up here because I forgot. Each balcony has an entrance to the floor itself. So this is the municipal court floor. Now we're on to the actual floor. Um, this is the... Okay, there aren't security offices. Rather, the prosecutor and defenders have offices up here. So this is the prosecutor for municipal... Restrooms and stairs along that wall, and then the restrooms and the stair, restricted stairs along that wall. <laughs> Here is Municipal Court A. Very small little courtroom. Judge's, judge's little podium is up here. Because Municipal Court, they're not obviously going to handle the high-profile stuff. This is just your basic violator's court here. Uh, another judge stand in here. With some seats. Nothing nothing fancy, really. And then in the back, you've got the municipal judge's office. So, yeah, you've got that in here. And I don't know why the doors get so off-centered like that, but we're going to fix them. So out of the judge's office, you got a door to the one of the courtrooms, and this comes out behind the stand. And you can come up here. Boom. If you're the judge, you got your office right in here. Then you got the bailiff in here. And the bailiff also has his or her own door into the courtroom. So that's that side of the building there. And then the other side of the building is kind of the same thing. It serves municipal court B. The same judge and bailiff rooms are in here. That being said, the same kind of layout. Here's the office, here's the entrance to the courtroom there. Bailiff's office, another courtroom entrance here. So you can see kind of how that works. All right, so we'll head back out here and we will move up to the third floor. Yeah. A lot of these floors are kind of similar when you get down to it, but this, the third floor, is circuit court, I believe. Yep, there's the circuit court. So you come in and you basically got the circuit defender office and the circuit prosecutor office. They're the same, I'm not gonna go into them. And then you got the restrooms and stairs on either side. And now it gets to the point where there's only one courtroom on each floor. This is the circuit court in here. So here is the circuit court, and there's the jury area back here. And then you got a little trap door in here to get to where the plaintiffs and defendants would be. And then there's the clerk, or the recorder's seat. The witness stand is right here. That's the bailiff's chair, and then the judge's podium is here. So it's kind of a crammed courtroom and kind of a bland courtroom, but... That's how I opted to do it this time, around. 
Man, my allergies are killing me today. Bad day to make videos, but we got to do this. Here's the jury's room. You got a sink and a fridge in the little table where they deliberate. And then they got a door directly to the jury's side of the courtroom. Then you got the bailiff's office in here, because the bailiff kind of looks after the jury while they're deliberating and on recess and things. So here's the bailiff's office again. Another door here to the bailiff's side of the courtroom. I put another block in there. Because then the bailiff can come and be right here. And then the judge's office is in here. And this office is a bit bigger. And the judge, lead, the door leads behind the stand here. So they could come through there. And directly to their office and vice versa. And then just back out into the hallway again. So again, we'll just make our way up to the next floor. Okay. So, we're up to the fourth floor. <laughs> fourth floor is district court, and it's very similar to the other floors. The same public defender and prosecutor offices with the stairways and restrooms on either side. Here is the district court. It's kind of the same exact courtroom layout. Really, it is the same courtroom layout. I won't get too much into the details here, but this is the district court. You're getting into a little bit more higher profile stuff now. In terms of the quality of cases here, this is the district jury room. And I'll just be brief because this is all the same back here. This is to the bailiff's office, which apparently there's no sign in there. I gotta fix that. Bailiff's courtroom entrance. And of course the jury has their entrance too. And then the judge's office. Simple. And then the judge, the entrance into the courtroom for the judge there. And then back out into the hallway. Now we will head up to the final floor, which is the fifth floor. And if you can guess what's on the fifth floor, you probably can. This is it. This is as high as it goes. This is the federal court. Same layout, except the floor up here is actually taller. But you got the same offices, stairways, restrooms on each side. And you've got the federal court in here, which ended up being a lot taller. So I was able to put some light fixtures up. But it's a lot of the same layout up here. So I won't get... And this is the spectator area. I don't know if I forgot to mention that or not, but that's what that is. And so now we will head to the federal jury room. Same layout. And this is, again, this is supposed to be medieval, so there's torches freaking everywhere. And you got the, the bailiff in here with their entrance. I don't want to dwell too much on this because this is, you know. Then you got the courtroom entrance for the judge, obviously, and then back out from the judge's office to the, god dang it, to the hallway. And so that's it, guys. That's the courthouse. Uh, I know it was kind of a quick tour, but a lot of the floors are the same when it really comes down to it. But you got the big windows here that overlook the staircases, so I kind of liked how it came out. Another basic building here, but that's kind of the theme of my world, as it were. So, again, guys, thanks for watching if you watched this video. As always, I appreciate that. And until next time, this is Swex signing out.